Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to create a two column layout using CSS. Um, and we're going to be using a, something called a float. And what a float is, is a, a float is a way to push an element to the left or right. Keep in mind, you can't have an, a float that goes up or down, it's just left or right. And uh, as you push it to the right, it's allowing other elements to wrap around it. Uh, so if you have something floated all the way to the left, it's going to go as far left as it can. Just like if you float it to the right, it's going to go as far right as it can. So all the other elements that are underneath it are going to sort of come and wrap around it. So let's check this out uh, with a quick example. I'm actually just going to float this uh, headline to the left. I'm going to actually delete this feedback too, just for now, just to get rid of it. Uh, let's go to our code here. Get rid of this. And then in our page, I'll get rid of this as well, just so we don't have to have it sitting around. Cool. Okay, so now with this h1, uh, since we only have one h1, I'm just going to put it here. Uh, I'm just going to say float left. Actually, to illustrate, let's float right, because it's already on the left side of the screen. So if we float right, you'll notice that this content comes up and around here, just like this, and this is on the right now. Um, as opposed to if we were just to text align this right, if we were to text align this right and not float it, it would actually, all the other content would be still pushed down. So if we do text align right, it's now at the same spot, but all this other content hasn't filled up around it. So this is important for a couple of reasons. Um, it allows us to do some really great things in, uh, with the content in a way that you might not you know, think of it before. So let's, I'll show you one more quick example, and you're going to find this to be really useful, okay? So I'm going to actually put an image in here. Um, let me go and grab an image. So I'm just going to use the Level Up Tuts logo like we've been using for the background. I'm just going to place this as an image tag. And um, let's see, it should be good. Okay, so let's check out our page now. Let's see, make sure it came in. Okay, so here it is right now. And um, let's say we want to have all of this content sort of wrapping around this image. And, and even if the content is too long, it'll come down and then fill up the total space. So it's almost like if we float this image left, everything will just sort of fill up the extra space. So let's go ahead and fill that up. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get rid of this H1 floating right while I'm at it. And uh, since there's only one image, actually, let's just add a class to it. So um, one second class. Okay, and then our CSS for this uh, for this class, we're going to write float, and then we're going to say left, and then let's go back to our page here. And you notice it's already on the left side, but watch what this happens once we float this left. Okay, so now this paragraph has come up and filled the space. Another thing we can do here is give this a little bit of a, a margin around it, so. Where's this floating? Floating this thing right here, we're going to say, uh, we're actually just going to give this a margin on the left, and we're going to have this be 40 pixels. And maybe a margin on the bottom too, 40 pixels. Save this, come back here, refresh this. Oops, I'm sorry, I, went, I wanted a margin right on that. My fault. Okay, back, refresh. Cool, so now we have a little bit of a, a column distance gap between here, and the content just sort of fills up and around you with this exception of this margin right here. So here we have an image that's sort of been pushed up into our content now, that content is wrapping around it. Um, and you might be wondering, well, how are we gonna do two columns, the two column layout? Well, instead of an image here, I'm going to have another div, and this div is just going to have an, another unordered list, um, but this, list is going to be uh, not display inline like the other one. So I'm going to copy this and um, let's see, outside of this wrapper main, I'm going to put, actually we're going to do this inside of the wrapper main. Um, I'm going to wrap this all in a class and it's going to be, um, well, first this will be left column, okay? So left call and then here we're having this other um, 
unordered list. And side nav, okay. And close this div off. And then now I'm going to make one that's main column. Oh boy. Okay. Typing while talking and thinking. Okay. Okay. So it's all in main column. So let's come to our page and see what we have so far. Okay. So we have our left column and we have our main column. Now, in a normal site, you might want like the title of the page to be above the main column, but we're going to do something different with the heading anyways. Um, so I'm just going to be able to push this content to the left and the other one to the right or um, to the left as well, and it's going to wrap around it. So let's check that out um, in here in our CSS. Okay, so now we just need to add our classes in our CSS. We had a left column. Uh, actually, it's called left hyphen call. And then we had a uh, main column. We had main hyphen call. And now, so for our left column, we're going to want to float this left. And we're going to give this a width of 20%. And we're going to give it a margin of, well, we'll give it a margin of 40 pixels on the top and the bottom. Or, well, 40 pixels on the top at least. 10% on the right. 5% uh, on the, or 40 pixels on the bottom and 5% on the left. All right, and we're going to give this a width of, um, let's say, 55%. And then margin is going to be 40 pixels. And then we want 5% 5 uh, 5 on the right this time. Um, let me double check I'm doing this math right. 40 pixels, and then to get this to equal to 100, we need uh, 60, 80, 90, we need just five more percent on the left. It doesn't matter that that's uneven. We'll check it out. And to make this really obvious, we're going to give these both a background of some sort of a gray color, and then have this be 444, and um, the main column will be a background of, uh, let's say, 666, just so they're a little different, but we can tell where their, their borders are. And we're also going to be floating this main column to the left. Okay, and if you're wondering why that will happen or why we're doing that is because we don't want this the main column to sort of fold around the left column. We want it to stay in its own column. So let's come back to our site, refresh, and sure enough, here we have our left column and then our main column. If you scroll down, here it all is, and if we get the site bigger and larger, it's going to be adjusting because it's all in percents. So, well, um, the question you might be asking is why does this background not uh, take up the entire length of the content. Well, if you remember when we were floating items, it lets the content that's below it flow around it. So uh, while the floating element itself is not affected, it's really long here, this background really has nothing to latch onto because both this column and this column have both been pulled out of like the flow of the document. So the only positioning or width or height or anything it has on this uh, main wrapper is what we told it to be. We told it to be uh, have a minimum height of 200 pixels. If we were to get rid of that, it would go away. And then if we get rid of the padding, it's going to go away even further. So how do you get by this? Well, there's a couple of methods. And the one I'm going to show first is called the uh, clear fix. And there's all sorts of ways to do the CSS clear fix. Uh, the one I'm going to be using on this site is I'm just going to pull it up here. It's from the HTML5 boilerplate. Um, I recommend going to HTML5 boilerplate. There's some great code in there. Um, they do a great job. So I'm just going to grab all this stuff because um, you can read later why they did it the way they did it. Um, but all it's doing is, is giving you this class clear fix. Okay. And I'm just going to throw this class in my CSS. I'll put it at the very bottom because I'm not going to be changing it or editing or whatever. I'm actually going to space it down even more. And now on my wrapper, the thing that we don't want to collapse when items are floated inside of it, we're going to be giving this a class of clear fix. And remember, you can give items as many classes as you like, as long as they're separated by space. So it's going to get the properties from the clear fix class. And now let's come back to our page here and let's refresh this. And now you'll notice that the wrapper 
is taking up the entire width of the content. And what that's doing is it's after this content here, it's clearing your floats. And, and that's just saying, hey, uh, content, the, there's no items floated anymore. And it's, it's clearing that after that this content is over. So that's why this wraps to the very bottom instead of uh, pulling up, instead of pulling up to the top uh, or just disappearing completely entirely. Okay, so there are other t uh, techniques for doing clear fixing um, and you can play around with it, but check that out. And like I had noticed before, if we would have not floated this one left, we wouldn't have had to clear fix. Uh, so let's remove this clear fix and let's um, not float the main column left. And you'll see what happens. The content is going to wrap around this left column, sort of like what we saw before. So now we don't need that clear fix, but it's not really doing a two column layout, okay? So that's how you do a two column layout with CSS using floats. Now floats are something that you're gonna take some practice. They're a little bit different and it's really easy to sort of uh, apply something and then you know forget to do your clear fix or something. And then uh, the content's not looking exactly like how you wanted. But this is how you do the two column layout and floating things is a very useful technique in CSS. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Let us know what you're thinking. This is Scott, and thanks for watching.